Wow, this is just getting mushy. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to another of Hawaiian Shirt Papa tours of, this. in this case, it's a thrift store. Thrift on Kent, which is connect, related to the Thrift on Mill that was in Leamington. This one's in Kitchener. Although they have a lovely front door, they're not using it as they, they've, they're using a main door that's on the opposite end of their uh, space. I, I walked around just to show you that. That last image was the actual entrance, and you cannot park for very long right in front of those doors. You, there's a parking lot to the uh, left of that image. This is as you come in. There's uh, This is where they have their furniture. Some of their artwork. And they also have, opposite this area, their uh, really nice stuff in showcases that you can obtain. Uh, purchase from there you have to ask for somebody to open it to get it but that's that's the way it is that's okay uh, other accessories for the home the cash desk area is there these are some of the artwork that uh, I was mentioning there is more in the in the book area you'll see that shortly this is the showcase area which has the higher valued uh, items we're still in that general area this this um, quilt is marked at $75 and it's in the showcase so everything in the showcase is actually marked it's not an auction type of setup Some of the other items that they have were just in open shelves. Looking back, uh, this was this uh, bird cage. Either it's bamboo or it's wicker, but with wood. And it had a price on the tag of $100. Now, actually, it's probably not a bad deal considering it's may well be antique if not close to antique a Biltmore hat with box I mean it's a nice looking hat if it's that's your color and that's your style that's great 40 bucks I thought that was pretty good probably even for for a reseller here's the book area and you can see some of the artwork at the, along the top there. This is where they had traditionally kept all their artwork. It was in the book area. But they've expanded the book area and they've expanded where they have the artwork. Beside that, they've got some vintage hats and bags. There's a, and oh yes, the LPs and CDs are also uh, in that area along with shoes. That's a bit of a change from well, prior to the pandemic. I think they were over in another area before. Closer, more, more attached to the clothing. They've got a really great display of what they have for ceramics and glassware and, and um, other decorative items for the home. Yes, this nice little sign from dirty to messed laundry to spot, spotly to clean. And this is where this 
this little plaque was also located. They had other lovely ceramics and china. And this little lovely iridescent glass bird. I thought that was a pretty good price. It's nothing that we are into. Their clear glass is nicely lit up by the exterior light. This was an item I thought maybe Westwood Avenue would like, but she did not indicate that she would want that. Uh, I think she already had it or, or it wasn't one of her patterns, whichever. Uh, looking for, for my usual search for Hawaiian shirts. Uh, one prospect. That was okay. I think it was eight dollars. It's not a terrible price. Uh, saps. Didn't go for that one. And uh, here we are looking at the longer sleeves, just in case we somebody misplaced one. The women's clothes were right there, and they've got a nice, nice way of displaying their jewelry, and some of it's costume jewelry in there. Fabrics, scarves, uh, and such. Uh, some of the medical ass assistive appliances, bags. I think that was a some sort of an exercise machine. Games. Oh, we're back in this area where they've got some of the sporting goods, electronics. This is the other entrance. They've actually blocked it. That might be in violation of fire code, but that's not mine to deal with. That's for the local fire department. A classic fans. Some other electronics. Speakers of uh, good size. Probably good speakers, but folks have gone for the smaller ones because of the smaller space. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'd appreciate it if you could give us a thumbs up, a, a subscribe, and a, maybe even a dingle of the bell so you'll notified. Take care. Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.